10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, And away we go. Our 23rd Electron launch vehicle is off the pad and on the way to space for this mission and progressing well on its journey to low Earth orbit. We've got a great daytime view from the rocket's onboard cameras as it approaches the point in its journey when it experiences the most amount of stress, otherwise called maximum aerodynamic pressure or max-Q. Clear max-Q. There's the call out for mission control. Electron has successfully passed through Max Q and is continuing eastward off the coast of New Zealand. The first stage's Rutherford engines are firing red hot and nominal as we come up to a vital sequence of events in the vehicle's launch procedure. Electron will slow down just a touch before shutting off its main engines, what's called main engine cutoff or MECO. This allows for the clean separation of the first stage from the second stage before the second stage's engine lights up and propels the vehicle satellites onto orbit. We should both see those actions on screen and hear the callouts from our operators in mission control soon. Stage one propulsion is holding nominal. Standby for Miko in approximately 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to Miko. Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage two ignition. And there we go, that's confirmation of successful MECO, stage separation and second stage engine start. You can see the space optimized Rutherford engine glowing hot on your screen as it carries on in space. Now, since we've cleared the lower atmosphere, we no longer need the rocket's fairing to protect the satellites, and we need the fairing out of the way to be able to safely deploy the satellites. So soon that fairing will fall away as we get rid of the dead weight. Let's keep an eye out for that. And there they go, Electron's fairing halves have been deployed. We've got a short time gap now between this event and the next one coming up for Electron's second stage, which involves swapping out the batteries that power the second stage Rutherford engine. The mission is continuing nominally though as we approach that next milestone, with the second stage travelling at a speed of nearly 10,000 kilometres an hour at an altitude of over 130 kilometres.